to. And she's off. She's gonna go to wherever she's gonna go. There's no food today. There is no food. Little glutton. But yeah, she's doing great and we love this girl to pieces. So in a quote-unquote breeding room where we do a lot of the videos because we do a lot of videos on ball pythons and obviously we're familiar with the rack right so the main rack um, of ball pythons that we have are breeding adults um, which are in here obviously this room is has a predominant purpose of being the breeding room where we breed the ball pythons obviously at the moment specifically the ball pythons we are dabbling in others but this is the ball python breeding room with the incubator and the rack holding the adults um, we do have other animals in here and there are changes coming. So as I said before, that rainbow boa viv, the, the exoterra, will actually be coming up here to fill part of this gap. Um, and we've already started by bringing some of the animals over. So we have the Baron's Racer and the uh, Rhino Rat Snake in their respective exoterra vivs, potentially being upgraded at some stage because we want to do up the viv. And if we're doing up the viv fully, we want it to be done up where it can be... Um, where it can last longer, obviously. We don't want to do up these vivs for them to last a couple of months and then they need to be upgraded. So we may be putting them in larger sizes. They are by no way anywhere close to outgrowing these vivs yet because they're still really small. Um, so these are actually really large vivs. They were upgraded more recently um, from the smaller sized um, Exoterra, which we typically keep spiders in, um, into these things. So the upgrade has been recent. They'll probably be fine in there for potentially another six months a year depending on their growth rate, um, but they're doing great. Here we have our blue tongue skink, uh, Turd, as he's lovingly known because of uh, Jake from Python Junkie. Uh, so Turd's doing great. He's actually going to be, we're going to be getting rid of this viv altogether. This is a very old viv that we've had. He's going to be getting an exoterra. And the idea is that we'll have a row of exoterras up here, um, all done up, all really nice for these animals to create some more greenery in here, some more uh, lush, almost like the inverse of next door. So the, ex the exhibit room is more, the room predominantly is those kind of vivs with the rack on top. This will be the inverse of that. So rack bottom, and then we'll have that on top. Uh, and I think that'll look really nice. We'll bring some of that into here, which we really love looking at. Obviously on the far end, again, due for an upgrade, will be Gizzy. 
my leopard gecko, uh, who was my first ever reptile, and she's still going strong, going hard. So there is a lot of work to be done overall. Uh, and once all the work is done, and the, the work will probably take place. Oh, sorry, I've dropped, I've dropped her tag. Um, the work, oh, forget it. So, anyway. Uh, so. The work that we're planning for all these rooms will probably take over, you know, about a year. So it'll probably be over the next year where all of these changes are implemented. There are a lot of things that need to be done. A lot of new vivs that need to be installed, a lot of upgrades that need to happen, uh, a lot of building uh, in terms of racks and new vivariums, etc. So it will take, it will keep us occupied for a good year. Uh, but when all of that is done, that's when we'll do probably either end of 2021 review of the entire place or we'll do a um, like 2022 new year. We'll do it one a year, maybe Jay. At the start of every year, what's happened over the last year. Um, but that's this room. Uh, one of the most popular, well, I say popular, one of the most shown off rooms because we do most of our filming in here uh, with these animals. But that's some of the plans that we've got for this room moving forward. And finally, we're downstairs here with our aquarium. Um, and you'll notice that change of attire. It took a while between the last recording and this recording, this, 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 bear with us. But um, we really haven't shown off this aquarium anywhere near as much. It was the first thing, first thing wasn't it Jay, when we moved here, yeah. that we had built uh, for my terrapins. Um, and obviously a lot of these fish, a lot of fish have come and gone in the town that we've been here. And this is a predatory tank. Um, it's Amazonian in nature, although the um, Mississippi maps are for Americas, which well, it doesn't really make sense in terms of region, but the fish anyway are all Amazonian, um, with the, you know, the parrots being the hybrids, and it is a predatory tank, which basically means everyone eats everyone. Um, so only the fittest survive, and that's how we've just run this tank. It's a large fish, large uh, fishes that are predatory, so that they can survive with the terrapins, and this is probably one of the most relaxing things to sit in front of. Um, never get tired of it, and can't wait to one day build an even bigger version of this. This is a 3,000 litre aquarium, but build something even bigger that would dwarf this one so we can really expand and get all sorts of new species. But right now, I'm really looking for some, if anyone knows anyone, I'm looking for some diamondback terrapins to add to this aquarium, um, just to, to bring new, new species of terrapins into here, because these two have been doing amazing here, and we just love it.
So guys, we really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, whilst editing this video, we've decided to release it in three parts, so you should be watching the third episode or third instalment um, of this entire room tour because it worked out to almost an hour long. Um, we really hope you enjoy this video. We are back now. Uh, we, I know we took a little bit of a break, um, as I thought, sort of started talking about in the beginning of this video when we started recording almost a month ago, um, and then things happened. I mean, Jay, you can pan down uh, on our lives, we explain. The floor is one major thing. We've done the entire of the downstairs floor area uh, because the little pup decided to destroy the house. Uh, speaking of the little pup, you got that thing over there because we are doing an animal tour. So we got this little one. Hello, princess which um, is part of it. And obviously the three dogs, which are currently outdoors, um, you know, doing their things outdoors. And you, you might hear Bell bark from wanting to be let back in. Anyways, I'm rambling. Guys, thank you so much for your support. Again, like I said, we are back. Expect videos. Um, I'm not gonna put a date to them just yet, but expect weekly videos um, moving forward. The lives will be back a bit more spontaneous than it used to be. Um, and the breeding season is obviously going well so far. So hopefully, Fingers crossed, some point soon, we'll start having egg cutting videos and egg laying videos and collecting clutches and all sorts of madnesses going on again. And we hope again, one last time, we hope you enjoyed this video, finishing off here by the fish tank. And until the next video, guys, we'll see you then. Bye. Chill, 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 Where's your piggy? Where's your piggy, Miss Piggy? She had a piggy a second ago. No, I've lost the dog. She's got muddy back paws. She's escaped. She's escaped. Come here. Come here and get your paws clean. Go. Go, Miss. You're done. Paws. Come here. You dirty paws. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Dirty creatures. Where's your piggy? There's a piggy with a piggy. There's a piggy with a piggy. Oh, my goodness. There's lots of piggies. Too many piggies. <laughs>